Welcome to another video with Mr. Long where we are looking at Microsoft Word or Word processors and we're going to be looking at the wonderful tool that is SmartArt that you can get in both Microsoft Word as well as in PowerPoint. So let's see how we can use this tool to make some really informative graphics for our documents and presentations. So I've got a blank document so let's go straight into the insert option over here and if you scroll across you will see smart art so when I click on smart art it's basically a graphic to visually communicate information you can do like a hierarchy you can do lots of little options let's see what they've got so there they've got a list of all of them but if you go individually you can create a list in some sort of graphic form you can create a process things that flow after each other where there are steps involved you maybe want to describe that maybe there's a cycle where things are looping around you can use a hierarchy maybe you're doing a chart for your company's organizational hierarchy say so who's the ceo who's the manager you can use that over here and there's relationships there's a matrix there are so many great little designs over here that you can create and you can even go onto office.com and search for a couple more let's go look at them so let me come over here to process and let me go and take for example this one over here i, I like that one i'm going to click on it and we're going to click ok and then what it does is create the smart art there with nothing in and you're going to create your smart art using bulleted lists so just make sure that you put all your data in bullets so for example i'm going to do the colors of the rainbow so i'm going to fill that in quickly so i put them in and as you can see it created this nice little chart where it's flowing from one color to the next according to my list that i gave it now once i've got it i can actually right click and make some edits to it so for example maybe i want to demote green and when i demote green i make it into for example a sub list of yellow so then it puts it as a bullet underneath that and if i make a mistake i can promote it so you can demote and promote items if you want you can also move green up maybe you put for example indigo is in the wrong place if i click on indigo and right click i can actually move it up and it will replace the two over there i can also right click and change the font if i want you can change the style of which style you particularly want the whole bunch of them over there you can create like for example a 3d effect you can change the color maybe you don't want it all to be one color but you want it to be colorful so you can use different colors like that and you can also change the layout if you don't like this particular layout you can go change to another one that you would prefer to use maybe you want to use the circular one for example and so on so maybe that's more of what you want to do all of these features are also available over here at the smart art design ribbon where you can change the style over there of the particular one that you are using so you can change it to like 3d and so on you can change change the layout over here this is when you want to change it to a different one of the smart arts the change of the colors happens over there you can reset the graphic discarding all the information and you can click on a particular item and you can do the demote and the promote and the move up and down over here you can even add a bullet let's say we're going to come over here and we're going to add a bullet and we forgot about ultraviolet So we added ultraviolet but this added as a subcategory of violet and we can promote it so that it becomes next in the list we can also change the direction maybe we want to go from left to right and so we can use this to change the direction of where all the text is going let's go back to the original and if you do want to add a shape let's say we want to add something before this we can click here on add shape we can say add before or after that means it'll be part of the sequence if you add above or below that will add to the hierarchy of it in other words it'll be a subcategory etc of that let's say we're going to add below the shape and we're going to add pink to the red color there you can see pink is under red now you can also click on individual ones and right click and you can format this particular shape and when you come over here you can actually change the colors of so for example yellow you don't want it to be orange so we can change it mainly to yellow and then the line we would probably need to change as well so i'm going to change the line so you can actually change the colors individually if you want so that one green's fine click on that one that's definitely not blue take note there's a difference between that shape which i'm going to change that shape to blue and then you can actually on the inside also change the color as well but that line we're also going to change to a blue but there's the individual shape and then the outer shape as well so if you want to change them individually you can customize it so really useful features so there we go that is our smart art now if i scroll down what happens if you've got a list already and you don't have to type it out so my suggestion is i've got a list here of hardware and software i'm going to click on all of it and i'm going to cut the text and then I'm going to insert my smart art. I'm going to use a hierarchy system over here. Let's use that one. And then over here with all this text, I'm going to delete everything. And then I'm going to control V and paste all of the text that I cut. 
And just like that, I've created a smart art with all my data. So you can see the hardware, software. So if we, if we click on particular shapes, we can actually change the size, make it a bit bigger so that it can fit in all the text. So we can edit this, for example, make it a bit bigger and so on. So you can play around with that. You can, for example, as I said, spreadsheet, if you clicked on it, you can promote it. So that means it'll go up to that category. You can promote it again, or you can demote it and demote it again and so on. So you can play around with that. And as you said, you can add a shape. So all the features that are available are here. So those are the basic things you need to know about a smart art. It creates some wonderful designs where you can change the features. You can also change individual aspects by clicking on format and just creating a bulleted list. You can really demonstrate your data in a visual way that is easy to understand. So go try out smart art. Speaking about smart, it would be a very smart thing for you to do is to subscribe to the channel at Miss Long RT and Cat, as well as our computer terms channel at Miss Long Computer Tips. They are very valuable for you if you are learning about computers. So don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.